Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to be checking out the 2019 Oregon Brew Festival. So we have Ascendant Brewing's Cha 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 Da IPA. That's got some cha to it, the aroma. Well, that's that. <laughs> that tastes like pumpkin spice uh, IPA without the pumpkin. But you know those spices you get. It's definitely like a fall IPA. Probably not what sunny Portland is looking for right now, but pretty well executed. It's interesting. Maybe a 12 ounce of this, but I probably wouldn't buy more than that. Good guess. So we have Ancestry Brewing's Experimental IPA. That's actually got a really nice melony aroma to it. Very fruity. A very refreshing smelling. It's like beer. It's, it's like bitter honeydew. It's like watered down honeydew with some bittering flavors. Interesting. A little funkiness at the back end, but still, you know, not bad. I, I, I wouldn't mind drinking a little more of this. I think it'd go pretty good with the meal. All right, so we have Stickman Masiango Goes. Ooh, our healthy smell. It's all right. Tastes like a goes egg. As in special. Yeah. We have Boneyard Speedy Gose. Yeah. Yourself. They're not, they're not big. Yeah. That's super salty. That's all that you the pizza. Yeah, let's meet it's over there. Yeah. Alright, we have Coin Toss Brewing's Hot Take. Stout. Smells like a nice stout. Got some, whew, it's got some heat to it. It's got some pepperiness. Back end. It's got a nice body though. Chocolate up front. You know, really nice chocolate flavor up front, and then it just kicks you with some heat. Actually, not too bad for a hot day. It's kind of surprising. So we have River Bend Brewing's Capri Fun Milkshake IPA. Well, it definitely smells like lactose. Definitely sweet. A lot of like papaya, mango, very tropical, pretty nice. Pretty thick body actually for an IPA. This is the kind of drink you want during a hot day. Really nice. Sanyam Brewing mixed with Anthem Cidery, uh, their Snake Bite. This is the Pirate Stout mixed with Cherry Cider. I get a lot more of the cider than I do the Rum Barrel Coconut Stout. I know, but it's not bad. It, it basically tastes like a, a, a dark sour. It's all right.
So we have Weekend Brewing's Kumquat and Get It IPA. Not really getting a whole lot of aroma. Not really getting a whole lot of fruit either. This tastes like an IPA. Elkhorn Brewery's Fruity Pebbles Milkshake IPA, brewed with fruity pebbles, blueberries, cherries, and mandarin oranges. It has a weird, like, fruit salad aroma to it, like uh, from Made in Prison. Kind of tastes like it too, with uh, the black toast. Um, not not really liking it. Yeah, it's a weird aftertaste. Not not super enjoying this. See you guys next time. All right, we have Silver Moon Tapache Wheat Ale. Actually, it's not too bad of an aroma. Slightly sweet, meaty. It's like a decent blue moon, but with more of a pineapple. It's not too bad. We have Bevel Brewing. First run IPA. That smells citrusy. That smells delicious. Maltiness. That's a solid beer. I mean, that's just like, I want to drink that all day. That's a good beer. So we have Hubworks brewing a juicy lager. Not really getting a whole lot of aroma. Yeah, actually that is a pretty nice, sweet, juicy lager. A little bit of a funky aftertaste, but nothing offensive. All in all, uh, pretty good. I'd probably have a burger or something with it. This is uh, not too bad. Beer. Smells like a spicy Belgian. Very light. Doesn't have that Belgian y spice yeastiness to it, but still very light tasting, very summery. Yeah, it is very refreshing. So it's good. I'm actually pretty enjoying this in this nice warm day here in Portland, Oregon. Check it out. Woohoo! so far. Actually, you know, it's not bad. It's right in between that sweet malt and roasty malt for red. Definitely on the malt side. Definitely for the Northwest. Uh, actually really enjoying it. Surprisingly, I can see this being warmed up and the malt is really coming out. It's a nice balance between people that like the more roasty red versus the maltier red. It's actually not too bad for that in-between balance. Picardo Negro Lager. 
Mexican style lager. Uh, apparently this is supposed to be some really cool anniversary beer for one of the head brewers. It's definitely a very malty red type lager. Pretty sweet. So it's nice. Actually I'm enjoying it. Actually not bad. Some guy was describing it as really a required taste. Actually really isn't that bad. So we have Golden Valley's Quad, Quad de la Rosa, Quad de la Rosa Lager. It's got a actually pleasant aroma to it. Pretty refreshing, uh, kind of cleansing of the palate aroma. It's kind of odd to say. Malty, little bitterness. Kind of like. Sweet water with a bit of a minerals in the water. Yeah, a, that's pretty much it. People. All right, we have Vertigo Brewing's Apricot Peach Gose. That smells really good. Ooh, that tastes really good too. There's an apricotty flavor to it, peach to it, a little salty sourness. Extremely refreshing for the summer day. I highly recommend if you are in Portland, check out Vertigo Bring and if they have this on draft, pick it up, get a glass, it's really good. We have four of these Hawaii 5-0% Pilsner. Honestly, just Tastes like a builder. Yeah, nothing, nothing super special. I mean, it's nice. It's easy drinking, but it's nothing like wow. So, if you like a basic builder, there you go. So we have Swift Cidery Lava Peach Lager Cider. That's an interesting aroma because it smells like a lager with a cider. That's kind of funky. A little peach, a little guava, and a little lager. That's uh, interesting. But like super sweet, like a, it is definitely a sweet cider. That's just interesting, but not bad. So we have the Ram Bubbleberry Brute IPA. I don't know, I don't know, it's just, aroma's not hitting me right now. Yeah, the guy said you can't mess up a fruit IPA. It's a little messed up. It's dry and not super fruity. And not really a whole lot of anything else. And it looks funky looking too. So, yeah. Uh, not gonna recommend. All right, so we have Laura Woods, Tom from MySpace, Hazy IPA. It's gotta be a social beer. The little tropical notes dies up awfully quickly. Not bad, but not like, wow. Still pretty good, but just not wow. Kinda heathers off like MySpace. So I've had this beer before and I'm going to finish on this beer because it is a damn good beer. This is Great Notions Double Stack Imperial Stout. Full pour.
That's a good beer. Maple stouty chocolate. Even tastes like pancakes. That's a great beer. Honestly, it's, it's super smooth, super easy to drink. Well, Oregon Brew Fest 2019, you've been fantastic. I love you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank that girl for her woohooing. Hey guys, if you like this channel, hit like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Untapped, Twitter, Facebook. The links for those will be at the bottom of the description. I'll see you guys later. So I will say the worst part of a brew fest, especially the 2019 Oregon Brew Festival, as large as it is, I love having that many options. Oh my gosh, for me, the drive home, I have to pee! How many people have to pee after this? Raise your hands right here, hit like, hit subscribe, right? You have to pee! Oh my gosh, I'm in traffic, I gotta pee! Let's go!